Hello, everybody. This is a hostile takeover. Uh, Daniel is not here this week. So myself, John Stewart, and uh, my co-host here... Timothy Baker. You should give up the food or something. We are, uh, yeah, as John said, taking over today when the, uh, whatever you'd call Daniel's away, the uh, geniuses will play. Yeah, we're staging this takeover. I'm pretty sure that Daniel is just planning on letting a week go by with no podcast because he really doesn't give a crap about this podcast at all. We couldn't leave you guys without hearing us. Yeah, for Daniel, it's all a uh, a cash grab, and for him to flex his marketing skills, which I'm still not convinced he has. He likes to talk about marketing. It's the marketing and it's the attention, because even even the nasty comments, he's still like, oh, someone, like someone, someone knows I exist. Yeah, I but for us, this is a passion project. Yeah, I mean, I just enjoy getting my thoughts and uh, ideas out there. I try to be uh, subjective in my thinking and just very... I, I, I think I have a, a very good vision. I'm very, very able to, to see things from other people's points of view. And I just... I'm I'm basically like a vessel for everybody else's experience and is... And I felt like I could serve the world better by sharing that. So, and yeah, Daniel normally keeps us a little bit down, but... Yeah, and for me, I see this as a calling. Um, <laughs> I think this is like what what the purpose of my life is. I think that I'm serving the greater good by doing this show. So I couldn't allow Daniel to sabotage um, the important, any further it the important work that I'm doing by letting a week go by. <laughs> the world needs us. Anyway, you know it or not yet. Anyways, you all know we have to talk about it because it's. It's the big story right now. You'd have to be an idiot or live under a rock to like not not know what's going on. It's been all over big news sites. It's been all over Reddit. Uh, Reddit is blowing up about this. <laughs> uh, They're having some problems. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, yeah. Has, Daniel has been uh, saying that he thinks our Bitcoin might be dying, but I think uh, it seems pretty alive right now, at least to me. But anyways, yeah. Obviously, the big story, Trump endorses Bitcoin. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, in in one sense, it's really surprising. But in another sense, I'm not surprised at all. I, I, mean, I don't, it, I don't know yeah. if there's anything that he can really do that <laughs> is actually surprising. But at the same time, it's I guess a good way to put it is like, it's always shocking, but never surprising. <laughs> yeah, because you know it's coming. It's like you know at some point he's just going to call, like, just do something. You'll just be like, what? But it's not like, oh, that's, that's like, thrilling. It's just mild, or, yeah, me, more mildly like, confusing. For me, it's like that scene. Not even mildly. It's kind of like the scene in Jaws where the chick goes out swimming at night. Like, everybody knows that she's going to get eaten. <laughs> but but it's still like you still get all tense up about it and stuff. It's still it, it works every time. It doesn't even matter how many times you've seen the movie. Every time it's still uh, a shock. What and, ethnic group did he like try to sneak in something so then everybody talks about it so then he's more popular? I yeah, that's why like I was confused about it is because it's like how much more. I guess he's looking for the tech crowd a little bit, maybe or something. He's going, he's going for the anarchist, the uh, <laughs> to bring down uh, the left, destroy, just uh, smash socialism, whatever. Yeah, maybe he's right trying people. to like uh, get the uh, big L. Is it big L or small L libertarians? Whatever the like moderate. Like people who are still playing the game, libertarians. I think it's big L because big L for the party yeah. versus like yeah, uh, yeah. an ideology or an ideal. Yeah, maybe that's his game. But anyways, um, yeah, that's gonna be what we're talking about today. We already started talking about it, but it's the big news, and um, we have an article from Forbes that uh, we're not. I don't know. There's not really a whole lot that an article could say about this. Like the headline is pretty much all you need, but there is a pretty good quote in here that <laughs> I think would be great to uh, to read on the show because in in typical Trump fashion, he just knows exactly what to say for every occasion. So the the big quote with this is um, as follows: 
I absolutely believe in Bitcoin as the future of money. So, sorry, I don't have like a good Trump impersonation for this, <laughs> but I'm just going to read it in my normal voice. Just <laughs> I, all I can hear is China. That's the only word I've ever heard him say. <laughs> <laughs> China, 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 China. Yeah, we'll get the we'll get to Bitcoin, that. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. All right, I absolutely believe in Bitcoin as the future of money. I love Bitcoin. I've been saying we should be using this stuff for a while now, but if we're going to compete with, say, China, who controls eighty three percent of Bitcoin mining, we're going to have to invest. I don't want my grandchildren growing up in a world where Mao's face is on their money. <laughs> I have no problem with China, but I think it's I don't think it's an accident that they called it the Silk Road. We all know they're keeping their little eyes on Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this we're is, going after the Orientals this time. <laughs> this is a repeat of They're rapists. I'm sure there are good people among them or whatever the quote is. But yeah, typical Typical Trump uh, eloquence in that <laughs> quote. I don't even know, like, yeah, the Chinese have the mining pool. Do you know how much they control? He said 83%. I, I don't think it's 80, that's I'm just, assuming it's just a random number. There's a few number. facts wrong with this quote. Uh, at least I, I, I think, actually, because I guess I can't really say that I know, but I just I don't think it's 83%. Yeah, I'm uh, assuming it's probably not. <laughs> But <laughs> that that well then yeah then they would control it but who knows They're just putting out smog with their big like industrial Bitcoin miners yeah we're we're guessing that or no we're not guessing I I'm assuming off the bat just from the headline that he doesn't actually have any clue what he's talking about because that's usually true but it's especially true of something like Bitcoin where half the people that get in the news talking about it, have no clue what they're talking about. So actually, Bitcoin's dead because this dude said he doesn't like it anymore. Yeah. Mike Hearn, you're fired. <laughs> yeah, that's what it should have been. Trump said, Mike Hearn is fired. <laughs> so anyways, um, I don't I don't even know where, where to start with this. Uh, well, I guess, so Rand Paul, when he was campaigning, didn't he accept... Bitcoin donations. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of... I mean, it's similar. It's an attempt to just get, like, yeah. attention over it. I guess it's just not... I guess what I'm going with that is just that it's not completely unprecedented. There has been, like, a... Oh, like quote, everything quote, else on, Trump does? Quote on, a quote-unquote major politician. I don't, You could disagree with that about Rand Paul, but, like, a big politician doing it, something One that Bitcoin. people have heard of. Like, most people have at least heard of the Libertarian Party now. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no one really knows who they are normally, but they're like, I think they did this one time. Yeah, but anyways, I mean, I'm not surprised that Trump is the only major guy talking about it, though, because I feel like nobody else is stupid enough. I, I feel like in some ways this is kind of not that he can even do this anymore because he's proven his foot is impervious, but it's like shooting himself in the foot. He must have like bulletproof shoes i guess <laughs> daniel's not here so i have to make a really bad joke <laughs> <laughs> for him that was in daniel's absence oh thank you the bulletproof trump shoes but yeah anyways i guess like i don't know i feel like we're gonna get into talking about the same stuff that we always talk about anytime yeah. some big thing endorses well, bitcoin yeah you think it'll work I think it'll uh, as I mean, far as like what I said, you think it'll get people because a decent amount of people in Bitcoin are like social socialists too. It's not just the well, f like right leaning, unless they're just like the so like the people who are like, yeah, I like Trump just because he's gonna like, hopefully in their eyes, just destroy the status quo there and make it easier for their whatever system to come in. Yeah, me. Okay, so I was talking to somebody a couple weeks ago about the election stuff and they were talking about like who's who they think they would rather vote for in this situation and like i guess i i was like saying well i'm planning on not voting and basically like why how would you try to convince me not that somebody is better than another politician 
Not that I'm like <laughs> voting for the better one, but that I'm voting for somebody that's better than not voting at all. Like that's what I said. Like you don't need to convince me that somebody's better than Trump or that Trump is better than somebody else. You need to convince me that it's worth getting off my couch <laughs> to actually do. And I I feel like for some people in Bitcoin, they're just. I mean, I not that this is like such a terrible thing, but a lot of them just tend to be such big fanboys. That they're like, oh, well, I wasn't really planning on voting, but since Trump is about Bitcoin, like, maybe I'll do it just for the novelty. Daniel would probably do that. He wants to go see every movie. It's like, oh, well, a president endorsing Bitcoin, I got to vote for them just for the novelty of it. Tim. It's about Bitcoin. They buy buy it online and they sell it. It's great. Have, like, bulletproof shoes, I guess. Yeah, no, actually, actually it Dan, might be good. I don't know. I yeah, my, uh, but my roommate watched all, it one time. But in in honesty, like I don't think Daniel would actually vote for Trump just because of that. <laughs> but like somebody like Daniel, who's stupider, maybe would do it. Does that make sense? Someone who was like Daniel, but with a little bit less. Uh, no, Daniel's too lazy to do something like that. Like he he doesn't. He becomes very lazy when it comes to, like, uh, le- not legal things, but, uh, I think, at least, like, stuff like that. Well, I I think he also No, has, actually, like, he does vote, I think, doesn't he? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he might have voted last time. I voted I last he, no. time, too, but I regretted it. Who'd you well, vote for last time? Johnson. Who's Johnson? Gary Johnson. Oh, Gary, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah but I, I can't remember. His I mean, name. <laughs> I I mean, I guess I don't feel that bad about it because his whole thing was like, I want to get one percent so that we become like an actual party that can get into debates and stuff. Because yeah, that was his whole thing that he got kicked out of a debate or, or they wouldn't let him get in. And he was like, if we can get one percent, they can't keep ignoring us. I guess. So I I think that's mainly the only reason that I actually voted. So I, I don't feel too bad about that. I guess although he didn't get one percent, which is really sad in hindsight but um and i think he was like the highest voted for third party candidate and he still didn't get one (laughs) percent which is just absurd to me (laughs) he might not have been the highest but he was well john because you have you have to put your votes where it matters because you're throwing it away (laughs) this is just i'm gonna go off on a rant here but the the people who tell you that you shouldn't not vote because your vote counts are the same people that tell you you're wasting a vote unless you vote for one of the two major candidates. It's like such such a contradiction. Does it count or does it not? Because if, if it doesn't if it only matters if I vote for one of the two people, like why why are you trying to tell me that it matters? Uh, but that's neither here nor there. So so yeah. I guess where I stand on that is I think it could bring some people to like maybe like be like oh well i'll i guess i'll like just support trump just out of curiosity or novelty or something but probably not a lot of people maybe just a few a small amount of bitcoin people might go for it i don't know what do you think about that um maybe i think the demographics are a little bit off the uh like, regardless of what kind of, uh, well, maybe, but, like, the people in Bitcoin who are into politics and are into voting are into, well, we just got to help everybody. <laughs> so, uh, I, I don't think those ones would get swayed to, uh, to voting for Trump. Um, I think maybe some of the. Yeah, I mean, some of the people who are like, yeah, I probably won't vote, they're like, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, he'll at least make things worse for everybody else, and at least he piss, pisses people off. But that's, uh, th- that's those are the people, dedicated people. People no. like you, who just, like, would vote just to piss somebody off. Yeah, but too many people are voting for Trump. And he's not, like, drastic enough. Like, there was a guy up there, like, just, like, screaming racial, like, racial slurs just for no reason just to do it and just saying just outrageous things about hunting down ISIS himself and just this crazy dude. Has he... I would definitely vote for that. I, I, I would definitely, 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 definitely vote for that. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if he... Has he said crap? I mean, he said the rapist things. He said that... <laughs> 
keeping their little eyes on Bitcoin. I'm talking like explicit it. racist things. Because yeah. then because then it'd be less people. Because Trump, like everyone wants to make it like, yeah, Trump's this underdog. But he's been winning for a while, too. He's like, he's the people's candidate. Oh, and- yeah, that, that stuff is so... <laughs> but uh, speaking of... Uh, ISIS, I did just read, um, this is like a, a special alert, a breaking news section of our podcast. Apparently ISIS someplace is burning all the alcohol and all the cigarettes and cigars where they're capturing places to cleanse it for them. So, um, if, if our, if our podcasts stand for anything, I think at least it would be alcohol, some <laughs> kind of tobacco. I'll drink to that. I, I've got my uh, beer right here. <laughs> so fuck ISIS. I wish I could. Uh, <clears throat> I wish I could muster up a burp after that, but <laughs> it'll probably come a couple minutes later. So just like maybe I'll edit it in back here since I'm editing this episode. So fuck ISIS. I'll just the next time I burp, or I did already burp once. I could I could just bring it up here now. Just. just- or, Throughout the episode, yeah, I'll just bring it real slow down. Bring it back every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I might have another one coming soon. We'll see. I I feel a little bit of something. He but. might he might get the the uh, like the real crazy Bitcoin crowd who were just like, yeah, just just tear it all down. So, <laughs> but maybe or maybe like, I guess one thing that I like. That I've said to other people is like, at least if Trump gets elected, probably nothing will get done. And like most yeah. <laughs> people have, a lot of people have been saying that. So it's not like that's something that I came up with myself. And I don't like totally believe that some stuff might get, I have no freaking idea what will happen. But I mean, there's probably more of a possibility that nothing will get done with him. So, but this isn't about who we're voting for. This, we need to bring this back to Trump endorsing Bitcoin, I guess. I guess the other question that we need to address is like whether we think this is good or bad for Bitcoin. And this is another question that we answer like every single time that something like this happens. Is it good for Bitcoin or bad for Bitcoin? And I feel like our answers are probably going to be... Oh, I just like muffled that burp. I forgot. I should have oh, like let it out unbridled. It. Yeah, and exactly. I, you're... you're- Stopping your art. You must have like bulletproof shoes, I guess. Yeah, that is totally true. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm I'm guessing that we're probably gonna say the same kind of stuff that we say every time, but we might as well do it just to appease the masses because that's what they're here for. So, so what do you think? Like, what good or bad for Bitcoin itself? <laughs> good because him saying he likes bitcoin is like him saying he likes dollars uh and pretty much i mean there aren't too many people in the corporate part of america uh who are like yeah bitcoin's terrible everyone's like, yeah the blockchain the blockchain the blockchain <laughs> sync transactions uh so yeah i guess yeah. He, he's just stupid enough to not make it about the blockchain <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he just like mentions it. He it's good it's good for Bitcoin as far as it's just another mention of it and it's not being automatic although he does make the allusion to the Silk Road. It's not directly being well, actually no, that's Yeah, but bad. the Silk Road is about <laughs> China the time. Chinese controlling Bitcoin. He wants to get it out of there. China, what was the last time you heard China? Yeah, China. I mean he has he has it messed up a little bit, but <laughs> He still does mention well, it. Well, his messed up thing, actually, you're saying maybe paints it in a little bit better of a light. <laughs> I agree with that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if anything, I well, it makes me think of all the, like, the old, like, gnarled Republican people who, like, probably support Trump. People like yeah, how the old how, guys are. I just like how he just talks it straight. Yeah. Well, I f- I feel like those are a lot of those people are also like people that are like Bitcoin. What is that dumb stuff? What is this some some uh, interwebs crap? So fuck ISIS. Like I'm being really ageist or whatever here. I don't care. 
but you know the type of person I'm talking like when we did that thing about Franklin Sanders, just like the old gold bug person. There's probably some people like that who support Trump and are gullible enough to be like, oh well, <clears throat> oh that was kind of weak. Go. That was a weak burp. <laughs> but um, anyways, I'd imagine there's probably some of those people that have been like trash talking Bitcoin, like ah, oh, this is some stupid scam, who might now like. Be like, oh yeah, I always thought this is a great idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> does that does that make any sense? Yeah. Like he might make it a little bit more palatable for gullible people. Yeah, because if Trump's okay with it, then that's something that the because he the, tells the, it that, like that, it that, is. Yeah, because that that government that government they 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 don't like him, so that's why he's good. It's because the media tells him he don't like him. So Bitcoin Bitcoin might be okay. Maybe my grandson isn't so, so much of a loser for doing that. You didn't have to make this so personal, Tim. My grandmother's never said that. <laughs> she just keeps on every single time I talk to her. She's like, do you still do that? I'm like, yes. She's like, why? And I'm like, because I enjoy myself. And then she's like, you should give up and kill yourself. And then, then it got personal. But... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but as far, I don't know, do you have any other stuff to say about that? Um, no, nah, like, it'll, it'll get the word out. I'm sure some people will be like, I, no one who's into Bitcoin is going to be like, well, Trump's doing it. I mean, I hope, no, if it gets rid of some people from Bitcoin who, for whatever reason, are offended by using the same money, you should give up and kill yourself. <coughs> As Donald Trump, I guess I'm okay with it just because... You don't want those people anyways. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they affect me, but still, it's like, why? Like, you just probably shouldn't be doing this if that's how it's going to change your mind. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could see that. Um, I guess, I don't know, do you think, do you think for people who are really anti-Trump that it will, like, kill Bitcoin for them forever? Who Who aren't already into Bitcoin, I mean, like normal people? Normal people. <laughs> Normies. <coughs> it's like, you should give up and kill yourself. Uh, Repeat the question. Do you think for, for, say, normal people who are really anti-Trump, like, I'm, I'm thinking of, like, the internet yeah. social justice warrior, hardcore socialist, feminist, Marxist, whatever have you, that hates Trump, who's probably, like, not into Bitcoin because they're not a weirdo. Do you think that Trump doing this Bitcoin stuff is going to kill it for them? Like, I guess I'm talking about these kind of yeah. people. I'm assuming <laughs> that they're not like hostile to Bitcoin. They're just not really interested in it. Do you think for the, those kind of people, it will turn them off to it? Yeah, probably a little bit, but you should give up and kill yourself. Oh, I don't know. I don't see him like ruining Bitcoin for someone. Maybe he would, he could, but it's like I'm gonna start using pesos, and everyone gets no. I don't want to do this anymore. So, um, yeah. I mean, I assume that probably a lot of people will take it the way that you were kind of saying at the beginning of the show that it's just him like running his mouth again, or maybe more more deviously trying to get yet another faction of people to get on his side. People might interpret it that way more than as like, he actually cares about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin must be some screwed up stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe some like real old, I don't like, I don't, are there old people who really care about the rest of the world? Like I, there has to be some like, really old social justice warrior, but I've just never, like, old <laughs> yeah. people just don't give a fuck about that. They're just like, I don't care. You should give up and kill yourself. Call yeah. them faggots. I don't care. Uh, like, they just don't... Yeah, I didn't even mean to, like, stereotype people by talking about social justice warriors. <laughs> I just feel like those are the people who are most outspoken against Trump. <laughs> who, like, if anyone is gonna hate something just because Trump likes it, it's gonna be someone like that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm boycotting this. Everyone else should, too. Everyone else should give up.
Yeah, I mean, those are the people who tend to boycott things in the first place, so it makes sense. But, yeah, I don't want to stereotype too much. But, yeah, that's an interesting thing about the old SJW. I, there's got to be a few of them out there. <laughs> email us. Uh, if you are one of them, email us, uh, Twitter us. Give up and kill yourself. Do you have a problem with Trump and you're over 85? If you're an over, over 65, if you're an over 65 SJW, there's probably like 0.0003% chance that you're listening to this podcast right now. Yeah, an octogenarian. Because it, <laughs> it's pretty much everything that you dislike. Uh, I guess we're not that racist. <laughs> not that racist. <laughs> well, I don't we're think not I, racist. Yeah, we're not racist. Just, uh, Tim, you're we, racist. You hate Africa. No, I don't hate Africa. It's just... Fuck ISIS. There's lots uh, of recorded evidence to say otherwise. No, Australia is probably the worst continent. But no, really? I'm, I'm happy Australia where I live. I'm not going to say I, I... Yeah, I... I hate whenever people go on, like, missions trips or something, or they go to, like, help there. And like, everyone there is just so happy. They're just, like, so much happier with what they don't have. And I'm like, that's because you're giving them water, and they haven't had... <laughs> like, that sounds terrible. Right, are you still... Wait, are you talking about Africa or Australia? Africa. No one goes to Australia. They're atheists. They've given up on them. Oh, I thought you were talking about that one thing from high school. A person that we won't name on this podcast for their own sake. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. Oh, that's... me being cynical about stuff. Yeah, but it was especially the case in this <laughs> in this situation. But anyways, we're not... This isn't about... High school. Yes, we should do an episode about drama. that sometime. Do you it, mean BTC, just, the high school years? Yeah, just make a, a an episode of Get to Know Us, where we <laughs> reminisce about high school or something. Well, I've basically spent the last 18 years with these two for most of my non-summer days. It's yeah. uh, created some, some odd situations. Yeah, the the <laughs> issue with that, though, is I think every time that we've done a uh, behind-the-scenes episode, it's turned out pretty bad. Which, actually, I meant to mention that in the intro, that the last time we staged a takeover was probably our most hated episode of this podcast. Yeah, in, we got something. In all two, almost two years, or what? how long has it even been? I don't even know. Two years? Almost two years? More than two years? Give up and kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Like, because I guess was, the first time we recorded something was like it was Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday. But how many years? That was was it at least two years ago? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's either just under two years or just under three years. Yeah, the, that wasn't very very light. We uh, messed up some article or something. So uh, on that, so people didn't really like it. Maybe we'll, people will hate us for this episode again. But um, I think I think I I mean I think the intro we did where we were talking about how important this podcast is to us probably actually like made up for that, and also people will probably not want Daniel to be on the show anymore <laughs> because now but, they realize what his true motives are. <laughs> they'll probably we, actually the think lies. they'll probably actually think that Daniel edited that podcast together the the behind the scenes one where it was just us to make us look bad. Which is what I'm sticking by right now. That's my story. I'll go with that. Yeah, I was framed. My uh, inability to form coherent sentences or make accurate uh, reports on intelligence are subpar. Yeah, or, are not subpar. I'm sorry. See and again, yeah, that wasn't my it... fault either. That's how Daniel edited it. <clears throat> he... Oh, that was a good one. That was like <laughs> at least an eight. But anyways, he uh, made us look far more ignorant than we actually are, and. At the same time, he was also able to use that hate to uh, to get more views, which fits into he, his whole marketing He's trying to make scheme. himself out to be the, the good guy of the group, like the one that the people side with, and he just tries to throw us under the bus. Honestly, when you think about it, he's not that much different from Trump. Yeah, exactly. He just tries to pick some like. Did you like that segue? <laughs> Coming back to the back to the man himself. <laughs> yeah. Well, Thro go for it. What were you gonna say? Uh, not not fully formed, or at least it was. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense as a joke, Tim. <laughs> don't say that. Yeah. And then I stopped. 
<laughs> in all honesty, I do notice that it is a little bit easier to come up with uh, to to make this as dense as usual without Daniel running his mouth the whole time. So this podcast might be a little shorter than usual. Oh, it'll definitely be a little bit shorter because he likes to explain what you've said. Yeah, about th- twice, and then he has to make the uh, the normal episode of. Well, you see, John has these conversations. Right after you told your story about talks, it was like, you see, Tim, John talks to people. <laughs> I mean, I talk to people, too. They're just like old people, and they don't make any sense whenever they're talking about Trump. They're just like... Rrr, rrr. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, we're we're not even hitting the 30 minutes mark. We're going to hit it in probably uh, in like half a minute now. But the 30 minutes mark, and I feel like this has been so concise. We've wasted a lot of time talking about non-Trump stuff. And yet, when we were talking about Trump, it was so concise. We get you the info, and we get you what you need to know, and then you're out. You're done. Yeah, You've got so, what you need in your head. So I guess before we close up, is there anything else that we need to say about this Trump stuff before we finish? Because this podcast has been so immaculately structured that everything that has possibly needed to be said can be done in less than 40 minutes. Um, Advice of the week? Fuck ISIS. Give up and kill yourself. Well, you can finish up on Trump before that. If you have anything else. I was going to try to tie it in, but I haven't figured out the advice yet. Um, I don't know, but about Trump. I've got one. A good advice for the week. Well, I... I was trying to work some... Never mind. Never mind. Forget about that. <laughs> what what I want to say though is um, that if you're going to have Mexico run your blockchain, you need to make them pay for it. <laughs> we'll get them to mine everything. They have lots of workers down there. As long as it's not China, <laughs> we can't outsource to China. Not to China. Um, I'm waiting for Trump's uh, after this attack against. Chinese, I'm waiting for his, uh, on Chinese New Year, picture of him eating noodles and saying, I love Orientals. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, please. Uh, the best, uh, um, what are they, the, the best general sows ever are made in Trump Tower Grill. <laughs> I love Orientals. <laughs> Which is great because general sows aren't even actually Chinese. Those imposters. Um, I shouldn't have explained my own joke there because <laughs> that's it, what Daniel does. You're well, doing the thing everything. Is, You're just absorbing I, him. Have like bulletproof shoes, I guess. That joke was way more subtle than anything Daniel's <laughs> ever said, and I just, I guess, I just true. underestimated our listeners. Which I am sorry. I apologize for underestimating. I'm sure you guys got you guys in general. Are very intelligent so, people, aren't you? Yes, you, guys, you are. You yes, guys, you. you guys got why I said general sows. The the whole nuance of it before they I didn't even need it. to get it though they just kind of absorbed it as the joke and burst out into spontaneous laughter. But they understood the nuance of yeah. what I was saying. I mean, they get it, but like at a deeper level than I think you're thinking. That was like a three. That yeah, burp. he's he's just on a roll now at this point. That joke was like a nine though, but the burp that I just did was a. So what is your <laughs> advice? You've been avoiding it. Um, give up and kill yourself. Buy Bitcoin, right? If Trump wins, buy Bitcoin because he's gonna have to start start paying a lot of people for that wall, and he's probably gonna do it in Bitcoin as publicity stunt. Um, so yeah, stock up, stock up on that. If Hillary wins, uh, just hope the government doesn't get a hold of 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 Bitcoin because then she'll she'll probably accidentally mail it to. ISIS, and then they will be using Bitcoin to fund ISIS. But Tim, so, what about Bernie Sanders? He still has a chance, doesn't he? I don't think so. I thought he was I'm, just too I was, old. I was kidding. There's <laughs> no way he has a chance in hell. Give up and kill yourself. But I people, had a nuanced joke but too, John. People are still freaking out about him. Well, if if Bernie gets elected, then hide your Bitcoins because they're all going to college. See, this could be good, though, with Bernie, because people now will understand how everyone else felt about Ron Paul last time. <laughs> They're like, oh, I get I get why you guys were mad about Ron Paul last time. <laughs> I understand. Although, I guess I, I've heard that a lot of Ron Paul supporters, like, went for Bernie this time. Probably. A lot, like, I don't, that's kind of something that, like, in the... 
the libertarian, like the young libertarian, they they've gone a little bit left more. Like the whole, like the the uh, majority of the movement. Yeah, it seems like they've gone a little bit left. Well, it's not even just that. It's it's also that like Ron Paul was a cool old guy. Like <laughs> he was super old, but he like came across as also really cool and like really down to earth. And like he knew he knew the young folks pretty well. And I think Bernie Sanders has the same thing, and think, and they're also yeah. like both perceived as outsiders. <laughs> but that's not I'm based. So part of me is telling you to go fuck yourself for comparing Bernie to Ron, because I still I'm I I that's I don't all really care that much though. anymore. No, I know, I know, but also it's just because I'm a little bit of a even though I I like I don't pay attention to him. I'm a little bit of a fan, like a Ron Paul fanboy. I mean, I am too. I will say the other thing so I will say to an old socialist. I'm like, what? the other thing I will say to Bernie's credit is that he has, in the same way that Ron Paul did, it seems that he's like purely ideological, like almost like to a fault. Yeah, he's. It's like it's less malign, or at least it seems a little bit less malign. It's like you just, I just don't agree with what you think. You just kind of. <laughs> yeah, but like. He ha- that's another thing that Ron Paul had that I think he has, and I guess just like general charisma or something. But yeah, these are all aesthetic things, nothing substantive that they actually share in common as far as also had a very yeah both have policies. large annoying college crowds. Yeah, that are probably the same kids. Woo, Ron Paul. They're still Woo. in college after Bernie. all this time. This is why they need Bernie now to pay for this shit. <laughs> yeah, they they were whenever they were. Uh, freshman they were like yeah ron paul now it's uh, i can't pay for this shit yeah, exactly that makes perfect sense actually if you think about <laughs> it because it was four years ago and now they're graduated and they're like shit in six months i have to start paying this stuff this so, does not cooperate. i believe in taxes all right this has gone way off track <laughs> yeah it has yeah it has yeah it has but you know what we're leaving it all in because this leaving is all we, we give it to you raw <laughs> When Daniel's not here, at least we give it to you raw. Yeah, Daniel likes to keep things protected, but it's all for we his marketing ploy. He's just trying to manipulate you guys. Yeah, I mean that's what anybody does. He tries to keep you safe and like actually, yeah. Never mind. I don't know. When you th- there's really no difference between Daniel and Trump. <laughs> <laughs>